<laughs> Wait, is Zeus actually bad? No. No. Okay. But uh, Puck and Bane are. Puck and Bane. Yep. Puck and Bane are banned. Team secrets. Uh, I thought. To pick. I was thinking about Puck. Uh, interesting enough, because I was thinking about offlaners that um, can deal with Witch Doctor pretty well. And obviously, uh, Puck is probably one of the best. We did see that flexibility. Uh, it seems like flexibility in drafts, that is a concept that's just not going to go away anytime soon. Uh, and I don't think it really should. It really helps give you a strategic advantage. Drafting mm -hmm. just puts question marks out there in the air. Team Secret are not going to go for the Witch Doctor, though. They pick up the Rubik. Ten that will be a position for Rubik, I imagine. Yep. We got the Yaps or Rubik. We also had an Omni Night ban, remaining. by the way. Yeah, that's enough ban for now. All right. Well, we have the the Rubik pickup. I mean, that that's a you know that there's nice. You can't say that much about it because it's just a good pickup. It's in a lot of different scenarios, and uh, already prevents Liquid from taking up a Sand King if they want to, or prevents him, or at least gives them an extra thing to think about if they want to do something like that. You know what the we've seen a lot of Sand King. Funniest thing to me is that Rubik Team is now Liquid's counter to Viper to because yes. it just steals Nether Toxin and breaks breaks your, Viper. Uh, Viper. Yeah. How how Rubik but, man Rubik. back. He is so back. First pick material. Florida picked up by Team Liquid. Secrets, turn to and Shadow Demon oh, as well. Oh god. Get hype for this hero. Shadow Demon he got a big buff. He um well first of all the change to the soul catcher when they made it like apply to a bunch whatever was in the AoE that was just awful. That, that, like, almost single-handedly. So the fact that they remaining. brought that back, really good for him. He also gets little advantages, like, if you actually kill the hero, then you're able to get his illusion, and then that turns into, like, so if you get a pick-off now, you smoke, you get a pick-off. Say you kill a carry, you take that carry's illusion and push the tower with it. By the way, that illusion stays around until the carry respawns, I yeah. think. So that, the late game, that's a long, long time. Yep. Some of the agi cores out there. So you just, and you can keep disrupting it. So then, like, say you kill a Chaos Knight, yep. then you disrupt the Chaos Knight illusion, you've got three Chaos Knights. <clears throat> Just pushing a tower, no problem. I, I would think he's he's a better pick, like, later in the draft to Ten counter, like you remaining. mentioned, but, of course, he also still does what the Shadow Demon thing does, Five which is, you know, hey, it's a setup hero. Secrets. We could Turn now pick, let's say, Mirana or... Well, Slana they already have the Slaughter. Exactly. For it, yeah. And there's the the Tide bands from Nature's Prophet and Tide. We've got some offlane bands on the side of Team Liquid. We also have a Crystal Maiden pick, by the way. Yeah, what's with that? I think this is the first time I've seen CM pick, for me at least, in the new patch. They are running Ten Storm Spirit. Remaining. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I don't a... know. Like, in my mind, when I see Crystal Maiden, I'm like, Bad Storm instantly. Because pick. the change to mana regen is absurd for Storm Spirit and other super mana intensive heroes. And honestly, Storm is by far the best. You know, the other big thing for uh, for Crystal Maiden players out there, so it's just me, Shiva, and one other person, <laughs> is that uh, they change when you get level seconds, two. Really? You get level two now, I believe, faster, and then level yeah. three slower. That matters a lot for Crystal Five Maiden. Seconds, you can't jungle now, because, you know, the camp doesn't spawn to minute one, but you get your aura faster, which is a lot of the reason why teams do pick CM. So there's a nice small buff for her. Good point. Where's the life ceiling? There he is. I'm just Game bumping secrets. all the tables up here. Okay. And... It's all good. Pretty good. Hey. Life what are the other lone band? druid band. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're back into the pickings, and Team Liquid is the one to go up first. So they already got a, a nice combination there. By the way, is that... Yeah, you're good. I want to I wanna say this now on air Ten sure. before the remaining. rest of the patch comes forward. Sure. I think Shattered Demon. Five okay. You saw it his, being played as an offlane. His poison talent... <laughs> Oh, you know. Man, he does some serious damage now. 2012, he was actually run uh, as a core. Yeah, he's. I, I think he's back. He can be very obnoxious to deal with. He, he can also uh, stack like a beast. Apparently, it's a big thing in this pack. Stacking ancients. Stacking, yeah. Speaking of beasts, holy remaining. crap, they banned Omni Knight. Like, I, I can agree. I think Omni Knight is actually Five equal to... The Beastmaster. The Beastmaster's but, not banned. But they banned Furion and they banned Tidehunter over Beastmaster. Why? We would be so. Who, who stay? Who? Who's they? Everybody. Nobody That's... banned Beastmaster. I think Team Liquid is okay giving away Beastmaster now that they have Shadow Demon, right? I see that as one of their better counters. Sure. Your teammate gets Rory, you disrupt them. 
No big deal. But why would Liquid be okay with dealing? Or why would Secret be okay with dealing with a beast monster? I'm not sure. I guess they could steal it with the Rubik, but I don't like to see GH. Yeah, just imagine that team. you you get yeah. disrupted, amplified by Shatter Demon, and then you get hit by the axes, and then Beastmaster is crushing your skull in with like 250 damage a hit. It's like having an Outer Titan, pretty much. <laughs> I'm Once confused, you, you guys. Around. The timer's not moving. Yeah, what's uh? What's, Are they pause? I, th I guess they pause. All right. Can you uh, tell Ten me about that remaining. poison talent? Because I, uh, yeah. So one of them Five increases damage remaining. by like twenty five percent, and then there's I know there's a level ten talent and a level fifteen talent, and they're both the poison. One. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they're both. Poison. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it's for me to pick pick that hero up again. I have like a ten percent win rate on that hero. I just, I just can't play that hero properly. Yeah, if you think about that, right? Like, uh, with the 25% by itself sounds good, but then you include the fact that a hero's most likely going to be soul catchered, sure. and that amplification oh. becomes so oh, much more. Oh my god. All right. Okay. Hello. Queen we got pain. a Queen of Pain and a Lycan. Queen of Pain for the Raiden. Okay. All right. We're leaving our offlaners for. We're leaving our offlaners for last. Seems so. So. Okay, so we pick up Clop. They go ahead and pick up Tiny. Good, good hero that just can deal with Clop really well. Just they get Lycan though, and that actually really amps up the the damage, the threat of Slardar Shadow Demon, and also will help Queen of Pain uh, tank. Really like this Lycan pick. Yo, yeah, how really plus is. Slardar Night Vision <laughs> bonus at level twenty. Let's oh, go! Damn. <clears throat> Just need a... You don't have Night Stalkers. Luna, the other hero that can make it dark. <laughs> I mean, Luna Shadow Demon. For a very small Demon. amount of time. Luna Shadow Demon? But they can't really have it. They need an, an offlaner. Here. Who knows? True, true. Maybe Mind Control is going to take uh, Queen of Pain on the offlane, and Lycan will be middle. I mean, you may never know. Shenanigans. Could be. So, uh, is Tiny... Tiny is a is is a good core now, even without IO. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Good. Team Looks like Team Seeker is gonna need it, to and they go for Timber Saw as well, so they have something uh, that is decent against Lycan. But super susceptible to start our Shadow Demon start of the game, because his increase in armor mm -hmm. is gonna be nice <clears throat> later on, but early you start with nothing, so. One disrupt into remaining. full damage from Crush because it's physical damage and you will have no armor. Five seconds remaining. I'm Plus the the howl of the right clicks. I'm putting Timbersaw in the safe or offlane. Excuse me. Um, do you, you yeah. guys think that's a good setup? Because I feel like even if he gets disrupted, he should be fine against Lycan. It depends on how many points of reactive armor he has. He probably needs level two. He's also another hero that benefits from the experience change. Like, Timbersaw gets unkillable to level 2. Very killable level 1. Yeah. So. Um, let's see. Batrider's still out there, and I think that's uh, pretty good versus Timbersaw. It wouldn't be bad for Liquid to get another. Um, still Beastmaster. <clears throat> Brewmaster as well, I saw was really popular in the... Don't I actually don't think that hero is as viable as he Just because other offlaners, Team other tankier offlaners are, are better. Ban. We have a Marana ban? For Team... Team for Team Liquid. Okay. So they are indeed expecting that Timbersaw to be offlane. Marana mid. But lanes, de lanes decently against the Queen of Pain. Your Team Secret, what do you think? Mid one would like Ten to play. Seconds remaining. Uh, it doesn't do well against Queen. Don't want to put storms. Five seconds. Remaining. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Maybe you can get a, you can get some help from a Rubik. Tiny doesn't need that much babysitting. But I uh, guess it will depend because you're gonna have a lot of roaming already from Team Liquid yeah. with the Slardars. I would have said Dusa, but um, Lycan and in general, maybe your lineup's a bit too low for that. I like to see a beefier Life, frontliner as well. I mean, they have Timber and Tiny already, but um, mid one has been really liking a Dragonite. I think the laning against Quap is going to be Ten tough, especially without Corman Shield. 
but he is very good on the hero. Five we'll see if uh, Puppy's going to give him something else here. Uh, yeah, I like that. Dragonite, uh, Dragonite or Viper for me wouldn't be bad because I think you just want something that focuses game fighting. Team Liquids turn to uh, there's a storm. Oh, gonna be storm. Spirit. CM Storm, like you called it. There's no way that Liquid didn't see this coming. True. So they're going to pick <clears throat> up a Doom or something. With the last pick, be able to deal with the storm? What really counters? I mean, Beastmaster is still really good versus Storm. Uh, Doom is quite good. Is there an Void, offlaner that maybe. could Five counter the Storm but remaining. also synergize with your Shadow Demon? Because both of those picks don't really go with the SD, right? You can uh, be uh, Doom. Pukna. Pukna <laughs> offlane combos with that. That could work. But you don't have a. Uh, no, they go for Templar Assassin. So we are going to see Queen of Pain offlane. Okay. Okay. Templar Assassin. All right. What are we thinking about that? Uh, <clears throat> well, this is classic Team Liquid. They're going to focus a lot on taking over control of Roshan. I think it's even more important than it was in the past. So TA, great Roche taking hero um, with the Lycan as well. Uh, the matchup's good, obviously. Uh, I think I like... I don't know. I kind of would have preferred a direct Storm counter, but I think they're just going to push the pace of the game uh, instead against Storm. Okay. I'm not feeling the Queen offlane. I feel like, especially against Queen of Pain with mm -hmm. the Frostbite early on, that could get her in trouble. Tiny has a very explosive kill range. Yeah. So, so I think with secret. the weakness of the offlane, I think I'm going to go with Secret here. What if they aggro with... Um... Who are the other, who are their two supports? Who? What what if they SD aggro? Slaughter? Okay, I could see that happening. Because Shadow yeah. Demon, yeah, and then they Ooh, could if they do aggro, the I go pain. with Liquid. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, go Liquid here because I think they might. Hard do to that. say. Right. I'm like half and half. Depends on how they lane it. All right, All right. I got secret. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I think uh, I think mid one's gonna do another Storm Spirit, but we're gonna find out. It is time for game one of Team Liquid versus Secret with Fogged and Odi Pixel. Thank you very much, Diva. Yeah, we're ready to go. This is the first game of the day. Oh, no. Our boy, this return to the EU portion of Dream League qualifiers. We got Steve versus Liquid. It's pretty hype, Fog. These are I mean, this is the, two of the hottest teams in EU at the moment, yeah, going decided. up against each other. This is decided for the top of the top of the seeding for, for, for Dream League. So this is pretty cool. Pretty nice. Both of them with two losses. What do you think about the Jaws then? Fog, see a little split on the panel. I like uh, the uh, the point the cat made. Yeah. I think Liquid is really trying to just turn the pace up, get the rush, and just snowball out of control with that. However, I think if they get, if the game goes too far, if they're not in a head portion, that's where the Storm Spirit and Tiny can get really crazy. But I think they're, they are going to do some type of aggro positioning here and just try to get those favorable lanes. And there's a lot of ways to burst down Tiny. There's okay. Soul Catcher, Meld, and Amplify Damage. Yeah. Tiny already has zero armor. Yeah, you get put negative. You get absolutely demolished by Lycan and Templar Assassin. So that being said, I prefer Liquids a little bit more just if they can they can set the tempo, which I think that they will, because this is, as Nahaz, Nahaz is like next to say, this team is a monster at the early game, and I think that's what they're going to go for again. Um, and I'm going to be interested to see how Ace builds the Tiny. You know, does he go for this this sort of the the new the new trend of having that sort of the Trez, the well, the S and Y. Uh, the the AC the Akira, all these stats to, to to buff himself up, or will he will he go for that playmaking style that, that we know that Ace has liked in the past on these sort of cores like when he used to play like Centaur safe lane, yeah he would build the hero very much in the way that you would build like the offlane hero and he would look to to get involved in the action super early on. I think we'll see it depending on how the lanes go. Right? Yeah. I think more than likely he'll go for the farming route, but he yeah. might have to adjust because they have a storm spirit timber sword. Storm can get shut down, timber might get shut down too, but. And uh, what it looks like is Liquid is going to be doing those, that aggro kind of lane. Starting okay. out with the sh Slaughter playing on the top lane, get my control, good start. This is just typical Liquid, right? Sack Matu for a moment and then go back down and help him after the laning phase plays out. So here we go, Kuro. Playing around the mid lane for the moment. Waiting to see if Storm does get a dual lane versus TA, because that is what we've been seeing a lot. TA starts mid and then he's put two heroes there and it really punishes her a lot. Puppy, Frostbite thrown right away. And top lane. My control and GH versus Yapsor and Ace. This is the Queen of Pain and Slardar. Queen of Pain able to put a lot of harassment onto Tiny with the Shadow Strike and a couple right clicks because of that no armor. There we go. Quick crush from GH. Deed. 
Keeping the rafts high on ace. Fats has been a key to secret success though, and he's getting given a very nice lane. Yeah, he's been playing number. so well recently, Fata. Yeah. He's had some incredible off lane performances. So I'll be looking at him to at least being the big weight carrier for it, if the mid if the early game doesn't yeah. feel great for them because he's yeah he's getting a really good lane and it's a decent timber game if he doesn't get behind top lane Queen of Pains is dead. Oh, it is indeed. Ace comes in with the avalanche hand toss, the tree toss, sorry, and uh, they get the kill. Good ways to start this lane and obviously Liquid when they have two heroes up, but they are not expecting to feed away kills. So. Bit of a misplay there from Liquid. Yeah, Mind Control was still level 1, so he yeah. just got lifted and bursted. And it's gonna ha it might happen again. Oh, just not enough damage. Uh, this lane is looking very scary for Liquid. Mind Control is turning up and getting beat down that hard. And as you say, showing the XP is gonna be a slow level 2 for the Quap. So he is very vulnerable to those sort of plays being made by Secret. Grabs the rune. Oh, the side blade kill. Miracle. <laughs> I caught like at the very last moment of it. So he can get up top as Mind Control. Jumps and gets the dagger onto Yabzo. Puppy's still around. He is hasted. Oh, back is Kuro with the frostbite, but now turning that sort of top lane into Tri versus Tri. But yeah, big kill for Miracle to get there in that mid lane. Getting it solo as well. Oh, Miracle's in. Our mid one's in. Deep trouble here. Rotation's coming out from two. I mean, at the least, they're going to be able to give him a good chase out of lane. GH. See if he can actually close this gap. Yeah, he's got the sprint back up. Mid one trying his best to, to turn around with a bit of burst, but this should indeed be a second death for the Storm Spray in the mid lane. Liquid. Making sure that Miracle gets a very good start in that lane. He has TP cooldown as yeah. well. So Storm level two, Templar Assassin already level four. And look at this, the true big bad wolf is 16 and 1 on Lycan. 94% win rate. And they lost against Secret last Stream League with Lycan. Ah. So a little cute, cute stat there, thank you, Nod. Will it happen again? I mean, as we said, there's... I don't know, just the, the fact that Masu has been that, that strong on, on Lycan, even against Secret. I mean, you know, you, you've got to worry how they are going to deal with him after he gets past the, the beginning. And he's doing all right down it. He's done great. Yeah. Like two levels of Feral Impulse are just yeah. just enough for him to actually sustain. With Mango, he actually has so much HP regen to yeah, deal with that. Still got a tank going to South to burst. Yeah. So, unlikely that Fano's going to be able to force him out of the lane anytime soon. Fano, of course, finding a lot from this lane as well in both heroes farming. Very nicely. 16 for 2, 15 for 5 between those two heroes down bottom. Yeah. And my control top as well has yep. fixed the problem that did happen. Since he did die, he was still last hitting. So it's, still, it's not that big of a problem. And, so four minutes is gonna come around. That's where the Howl gets that double effect and we'll see what kind of rotations they can make happen. GH looking for Yapso here. He's yeah. lift though. Yapso checks him away. Mid one back in the lane. How are we seeing his CS look 10 for three? Oh, Yapso is in trouble. Ooh, he's getting himself out of this. It doesn't look like he can. With mind control rotating down for the top lane, Yapso shut off. And GH finishes him now. Third kill for Liquid. So I did like the point that Lumi made about the uh, level two to three about Crystal Maiden. You will pretty much have to, you will have to get your level three to see him to put pressure on those lanes, having your two spells. So, Puppy tried to take time out to do that, but it makes it so uh, the lanes become a little bit weaker, weaker because of that. And he actually puts the second point in the aura, just emphasizing on mana for his, probably just for Fada mostly, just to make sure that he can get that lane I mean, to go well and for mid one to catch back up. I was gonna say talking about lanes, the lane mid one is is getting heavily bullied. This side blades for Miracle keeps zoning him right out. He's He's a couple of levels behind this TA. Miracle's almost six in mid yeah. About to hit four. That's it's, brutal. It really is. The amount of denies that Miracle's got in this matchup. Making things very, very hard. And it can make it really difficult for mid one to even catch up. If like if TA gets a quick level six, you start putting traps in the jungle too. So you see where the storm is jungling up yeah. to that level six. You can make some nice rotations to come out. So, and also, like we didn't get to talk about that. The information game on Liquid is definitely superior. A secret they have traps they have wolves and we've seen we've seen what matu does with those wolves as soon as he gets them in this yeah, miracle just being safeguarded for now by gh and kuro in case any sort of play comes out from secret traps are ready now miracle feeling very confident here trying to bait out a little bit of a play from them so maybe they can get the support on support action as liquid still continue to hover behind miracle also going in for telekinesis miracle i mean he's baiting Right down to the last health. That's true, he did have 9, you're right. 
So knows that he's going to be safe. Sal's back up as well, actually. He's comes back under the refractor. Mind control top. Yeah. Some trouble here. Been found out by Puppy. He's got the frostbite. Link, eight seconds until it's there, but he does have the backup all the toss, though. Getting Puppy in nice and close. Can they keep Puppy back with the crush and the screen they can? Very nice play from GH, positioning himself in the midst of both of them. Gets the two-man crush, and he's going to be able to chase down Ace as well. With the poison stacking up, mind control, getting a double kill. What a beautiful turnaround for Liquid there, thanks to the rotation of the two supports. The situations where it looks like the co-op was all but done for, they managed to set him up for a double kill. That's they just, huge. They were just sitting in the mid lane, waiting for something to happen on Miracle, yep. and then it just happens, oh, okay, mind control is in some trouble. Quick little easy rotation, so the positioning from supports there were lovely and very nice this is this is liquid in a nutshell lately they just leave matu completely alone they're like yeah matu does fine in all of his matchups i mean he does he, re he really does he's level six he's doing fine there's a smoke up from liquid they want to get some wards down to be able to watch where the storm is catching up on and kuroki's actually spotting yep. puppy at the moment and then once get a use it they've got the level six on the quap they've got the sonic wave yep. so they have got that cheap and easy kill puppy. Trying to find him. GH, he's coming on middle. He's got the crush on Diabsor. Miracle moving in deep. Mind control. Sonic waves the CM. They're just picking up kills left, right, and center here. Seven minutes in. Seven to one. Liquid looking very dominant with these movements. The farm's still there for the side lanes. Both Ace and Fada. Top CS. And mid one, to be fair, he's not falling that far behind but they're getting a decent amount of gold and experience liquid from these kills. A lot of those last hits are neutral creeps, though. You see he's sure. actually 2,000 net worth, so it's a, he's still a bit behind because those two deaths, too. But yeah, now they're going to focus on playing around Fada's lane since he's, he's an absolute monster at the moment, and he should be able to claim this tier one. Yeah. Matt. He's on the prowl. Yeah, he knows that mid one, he still hasn't got that level six. He's going for the TP out with the Howl. Is it enough damage? Oh, oh. The crit. Oh, that was so down. close. Oh, deny by my control bottom. He blinked in, so eight second cooldown. Right. Gapsaur's there. He's gonna play back up in four seconds. Uh, I think he's fine. He's got the pole charge as well. Unless Puppy gets the frostbite, and he does. My control will get caught out by that wraparound. Pato had confidence that his team is a cap, so he instantly ported mid before the kill was even finished to be able to defend that tier one tower. So defending tier ones, we say it a lot, but it's very important, especially when your storm is at this much of a deficit to catch up. Yeah. If you lose your mid tower, then they have much easier access to punish. And at bottom, the app sword might be in some trouble here. Let's see what I can do to get out of this. GH and Matuma Man surrounding him. He's got the telekinesis to buy some time as he's looking to retreat, but again, Matuma Man with the signature wolf body block, keeping Yapsil back. Frostbite from Puppy. Buy some more time for Yapsil, but the sliver four from Chase, he's got the sprint. Yapsil being surrounded, he'll try and juke it out in the tree line. GH will find the crush, they do take down Yapsil. And mid lane as well, Fada actually going in deep. Didn't quite catch the start of that, but either way, that looks like he must have massively overextended there into the hands of Miracle and Mind Controllers. Neither of those heroes look like they're on the verge of going down. Yeah. That's a bit of a bit of an over-aggressive play from Fada there. So it looks like, I mean, he did a thousand damage with his spells, so it looks like he was trying to go for the yeah. dive play. He used three Chakrams, three uh, Whirling Deaths, and four Timber Chains. So he tried to commit for something, but with the rotation from my control, he must have had low reactive armor stacks too, because we've seen what happens when you have those high stacks early on, especially in a game like this. How's Miracle's Ancient X looking? It's a triple stack on one side and a triple stack on the other. So yes. Liquid have definitely been emphasizing on giving him that burst farm and it looks like he's queued up the desolator first this game so we were talking about the early roche well, sometimes we see the blink dagger but that's when you're versus someone that you can like put on like a ta or like a lena and just punish them but this one is all about the roche on for liquid like the panel mentioned yeah absolutely and you've got great setup in that amongst your teammates as well to allow you to close the gap if you do look to try and fight with it yeah but uh yeah definitely for the roche being the big reason that liquid are prioritizing it on ta this time on bottom, Almost. Two, level nine. Almost the first level of book. So maybe with like book one or book two, probably, I think it might be book two. When TA gets the Deso, they'll go for the Roche. I think the Deso's good. How's Ace doing on his farm with the Tinies? He's, we see him high on the book network. Same item device. build. It is, it's what we saw from Ardfeezy. We've seen it from Mason, Dream League, Treads, S and Y. AC, Shadow Blade if you want to away. He, I mean this build, it can work just to run people down, but you know, we talked about the minus armor amp, but the Mel, the Soul Catcher, and the Slard royalty, he's gonna be getting shredded if they can actually focus fire. Now, 
Fada, bottom lane, there's TP skipping out. Could be in some trouble here. Yeah, he's he can play his way out of this one. Jump ball from Mind Control. And as the daggers start playing a bit of a slow, they need to get DA Kim for the crush. He's got the 20 reactive yeah. stacks too. Yeah, he's too speedy. He's too elusive. And in fact, turning back into this, you can see how confident he feels, as you say, once those stacks are up. Mip one is in the neighborhood. They're just giving space for Miracle to farm these ancients. He's finishing up the other triple stack at the moment. Level 10, about to be level 11 already on this TA, while Storm is level 6. A 5 level advantage for the Templar Assassin over the Storm. I mean, we have seen Mip one make recoveries before. And, uh, he, he's certainly going to need to pull it all out of the bag this game. He's got CM. Get relevant again. And he's got CM as well, so that extra little mana helps top him top catch back up nicely. Top. He's getting some power, power damage up top. Now, like the face off and he's like, gonna finish off this tier one. Oh, look at these body blocks again. Look at this movement with the walls, Matthew. Just causing issues for Yapsor. They might be able to dive quite far, but it's gonna be so frustrating to play against Matuma Man's Lycan because of these walls constantly just trying to make you trip up. And they've already got, like we mentioned, the vision game is gonna be huge for them. Lycan Wolves are constantly scouting people out. Look, yeah. they're looking for Puppy here, and oh, it's committed. There's a Necro book as well. They're found a Puppy. Bye bye. The Puppy chasing. The puppy. Wolf over puppy. Ten for two. Yeah, liquid, liquid aggression really being felt. And as you say, this a lot of this is before we actually see Miracle start moving around and getting proactive on the TA. Sure, he got involved in a bit of action early, but that was only in his lane. Once he has the Desto and he's moving around, I mean, you said it. Heroes like the Tiny, they, they're going to absolutely melt. Storm as well. Hey. If he can get any sort of crush or lockdown, he's, he's going to be gone in a couple of hits at this stage. They're already moving into the road. They don't even have TA there. Oh. Miracle has the Desolator finished on the courier. Oh, this could be smart, though, but because TA is showing down bottom, secret, they probably don't expect this to be happening. If the TA is not in the pit, would they really be going for it? No, Liquid's gone straight in there with Matu and his army. And yeah, I think because the TA shows bottom, secret, they're unlikely to actually check this out at all. Yeah, and it's, it's gonna go down here. I don't think they can contest this with this much of a deficit that they're at already. The Storm Spirit, the Storm Spirit's level seven. There's no way they can go in this. And now Miracle is in. Like, Give me that Aegis, thank you, Matu. Good job with the work. And now he's 1k towards having the Blink Dagger on top of the Desolator, 12 minutes in. This TA Ooh. is gonna be terrifying. And the level disparity is the big thing here. Level today. 13. On How, TA, level uh, 8 on Storm. I mean, even at, you know, Ace, he's, he's nearly level 12, but as you say, it may not matter. If they just get the blink on him after he's done the Avalanche, this TA is going to shred the tiny. And look at this, the walls giving the vision. They're looking to chase down. It is deep under the tower. Puppy with the ultimate forces Liquid to back away. And TP from mid one comes through. Does get crushed. Miracle moving in one yeah. hit. But half his health gone. They do have the shrine. Miracle's got the ages. They're trying to fight pretty deep. It's got away from Malayu Control. Comes in onto three. Miracle picks up the double. It doesn't matter if there's a shrine there. And the damage and Liquid at this stage is just too much. Ace, he's got to be careful. They could chase this one down as well. They're going to be able to take the Tiny as Miracle gets an Ultra Kill. <laughs> That'll be the money for the Blink Dagger. 14 minutes in. Oh, my God. Oh, Ace, my goodness. Ace did throw his tree at GH, though. That was pretty funny watching it just chase him through the jungle, but oh, my God, Liquid. This, yeah, that... Having mind control in that position to jump in, hitting three heroes with a Sonic Wave. We'll see it again. I mean, you can see Secret... They thought that they could turn this. They knew that Liquid overextended. Mid one really wanted GH, but that quick crush play. And so again, we'll see this Sonic Wave. Yeah, Mind Control heading over from the west, and then bam. Three heroes, more than enough physical for Miracle Damage to finish them off. They're, so, they're just so quick at collapsing here. Yeah. And look at Ace with the tree toss already. Turns around, mm. <laughs> but he just fails it. But the tree hits GH. Bullseye. This is looking very scary, because it being 5k behind, and when you have this safe lane tiny, and as you say, the issues that we felt were going to be apparent, they certainly are. Yeah. This man, he, d he doesn't do armor, and Liquid, they do do a lot of minus armor. And they're claiming, they're claiming the entire map already at this moment. Like, they're taking a tier 2, tier 2 is down, they already claimed the Aegis, all the, all the tickers that you yeah. want to feel for Liquid's lineup, they have hit. 15 minutes in, 6k advantage, 14 to 3. I mean, I think, but well, the, the TA, what, TA was fifth pick. Right? Miracle's in, Ooh, with DD. TA. Yeah, TA was fifth pick. Yeah, we're seeing the power of that, that coming through the drafts with the final hero. Very good at it against this, this tiny core and harder. And run down, quick mail strike, one more. 
seals the deal. And this, this is your tanky here. This is the timber stuff of the reactive stack. The guy that you don't expect to just get picked off like that. He's dying. So if he's dying, everyone else is going to be dying for sure. And this is just getting so messy and so drastically out of control for Secret. They can't fight head on. They, they need time to they, get they... more farmed and Storm to catch up still. I mean, even at that point, it's like, when, it, when is yeah. there going to be the point in this game where this Tiny can turn up to the fight and not worry about being shredded by this TA? It's, when does it happen? And then I think you just got to respect the way the Liquid approached this with the draft and how, you know, we've seen the, the Tiny coming through a few times. Kuro, he's obviously, he's done the math, he's done the research, he's, he knows what's strong against it. He said, boys, if there's a Tiny, we put Miracle on TA, and then this. I mean, it's also, I mean, it's the Wolf. Oh, really, it's too. Like, Lycan, he just sits bottom in a 1v1 versus Timbersaw. You'd be like, oh, that's not a great matchup for Lycan, but Maki Massive. comes out completely even yeah. versus that Timber, and the rest of the lanes are just great because the, the Shadow Demon and Slaughter can roam around. Puppy. In some trouble here. Can they close the gap with the stun? Ooh. Nope. Close. How's GH doing on the blink dagger? He's getting some money. He's got it. Oh, he's got it. I mean, blink from GH, blink from TA. They, any target those two jump on together will 100% die during this stun. Yeah. Because there's no real save. They're secret, they don't have any way of saving anyone that gets jumped on. It's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be crazy. It's 24 minus armor going to be coming out, and Tiny's only sitting at 6. So he'll be at... Oh, boy. He'll be at negative 18 armor when he gets hit by Melvin and will die. Look at this. Or, so so pay, so. Once, once Miracle has BKB, there's there's no way he dies. Yeah. Middle tower is under Secret. It's tough. Dyer's bottom Smoking up down bottom. They've got it. They spotted they it. They've got the traps and here's the jump in. Look at this go. Ace already down to half health. Can he get himself out of there? The rest of the secret trying to come in and out, but the Sonic Wave flies through for mind control. They've lost Ace. They've lost Puppy. Mid one's going to zip himself out, but they're going to be able to chase this one down. Mind control's already there with the right clicks. One more will do it through the corrosive Ace. Scream from mind control against the double kill. Secret just losing four. And with the crush on Tafada, they're going to get the full team wipe. A secret hit the decks. Sure, they pop miracles ages. This game is just looking absolutely over. 18 minutes in, 21 to 4, 10k gold lead for Liquid. This is going to require some serious throwing from Liquid. I feel Secret are going to pick this one back up. And even at that, you're going to need at least a a double. Hey, this is. How do you, how do you come back? From I don't this? think they can come back versus. I think they, I think Liquid turned the tempo up way too quickly versus the Secret lineup. And Secret, they have no team fight. Well, on the other side of Liquid, they don't really have great team fight either, but the Queen of Pain had such a great game because of how much space they made for her that my control is doing a disgusting amount of damage in these fights. Yeah, he is landing it every, every time that ult, it hits like three heroes. He's found some beautiful angles with the Sonic Wave. Yeah. He's got a lot of money to spend as well. 2.6k, I love the build as well. Treads, Bale, Kaya. You got a, a, enough beef to be able to jump in, and you got enough punch to, the, to rip this, through them. Again, though, this is the scouting that it's we were the wolf. talking about. The wolves just seeing Ace walk up, get yeah. out of position here, and look at their target priority here. Look where Fada's standing. Do you see them? They don't hit him at all. This they're just like, okay, go for Puppy. He's ulting. Okay, go for mid one. Go for mid one now. Still don't hit Fada. Look, they're just ignoring him. All right, now go for Madu's, Matu's maybe him, but Miracle's got priorities here with my control. They go for the other back targets, and then they're gonna go for Fada afterwards and clean him up when he's isolated. So the targeting by Liquid and just the scouting, the sheer oh, scouting no, by Lycan is unbelievable. Oh, this is, this is, could be painful. Oh, Jump DD. GH. Oh, Bam. He, he's not making it home, I don't think. Oh, he's not. He is not indeed. Wow. That is... Yeah, minus armor is pretty good versus Tiny. Yeah, they've got a medallion now from GH as well to throw out when they make those sort of jumps to add on to everything else that's already there for Liquid. Let the fun begin. I mean, this series, you, you see these two teams, you expect something close. We are not getting that here in game one. Not in game one, definitely not. I don't know if we'll see the Tiny again in this series. I think, you know, we, we obviously know the hero is strong, but Liquid are showing us that they can draft against it. They can close off that draft with, with this really he sort of heavy physical damage dealer, TA being the best at that. And then it's just all pretty much game over. They're pushing into the base. What can Secret do to stop this Liquid? They've got the two man with the ult. Secret, they've already lost Puppy. They're just being forced by TH jumps down to Fada, gets two shotted by Matumba Man. Yaps was gonna go down as well. Double kill from Matumba Man. My goodness, 20 minutes in. GG. GG. I don't think anyone would have called that. Saying Liquid would have stomped Secret in 20 minutes.
What a performance from Ligrid. These guys, I mean, without a doubt, this is the best team in the world. And they certainly look like it here. You know, Secret, they're not a bad team. Team no, Secret no. are very, they're pretty hot at the moment. But uh, Liquid just make them look like hot something else. You know, that was that was something something else. 25 to 4. Liquid. A little disappointed. I mean, Liquid you expect up, something much better than that. They showed up so bad today, though. That, that was... That was terrifying. Like, we yeah. wanted a good game here, but that that was just... it. Was it really a game? That was just Liquid playing against bots, as it seemed to them. <laughs> they just made that look so easy. The support movement from GH and Kuro, yeah. and then just the, the, 